okay, sorry. I have been um, uh, just uh, busy. So here's a very good question. You're like, well, if it's different, how am I selling them the same item? You're selling them the same item, literally. So what happens with Primus is um, it Primus is a high security platform of cylinder construction along with many other high security platforms of cylinder construction by many other manufacturers. ASA, Medico, Yale, Sargent, Corbin, Russwin, Best, Abloy, Bylock, Scorpion, uh, Multilock, um, Miwa, et al. There are, there are countless other variants. What makes Everest, Everest? Um, well, here's what makes Everest, Everest. It is a standard Schlage lock, just probably not unlike the one that you have in your pocket. The new Schlage keys have a bigger bow than the ones that you're familiar with, which would be like a um, 35-101, typical Schlage, good old-fashioned Schlage key, right? Good old-fashioned. Well, the Everest is an evolution of that. Now, well, we're doing Primus, so anyway, Primus is an evolution of, of that, I meant to say. Now we are in the, oh, we're in the Everest manual, manual? Where are we? I want to be in the Primus manual. Sorry, I pulled up the wrong book. Uh, we want to be in Primus, Primus service manual. So what makes Primus different? Um, and it was introduced in the in the late 80s, uh, late 80s, and I saw it in about 1991. Um, Here's what makes it unusual. You have a standard key. A standard key, my dude. When you look at the other side, however, of the standard key, it's no longer a standard key. Just focus in here. That's called the side bit milling. And the side bit milling takes these things called finger pins. The difference is this. You've got Primus. You've got an E keyway. The E keyway is the profile of this. It's this profile and shape. There are different profiles, but in Everest, the side bit millings is how they control one E key blank from another. There's a standard nationally available side bit milling, which is the one we sent them. It's the one that's not protected. Everything else is protected. There are five side bit cuts. There are three well, there's more than three, actually, I think. I'd have to refresh my memory. I think there's actually... Um, there might be four options. So let's just say three. Uh, three different... Uh, si uh, finger th uh, I think there are three different finger pins. But then there are two depths. So you've got five times three times two... Um, five cuts. You've got left, center, and right. Five. Oh, no, no, I'm doing that all wrong. Yeah, no, we're doing it right. Um, I'm doing that wrong. So you've got, you've got left, center, and right. That's three. Then you have different depths. And those different depths are, here we go. We've got left, center, and right, and then we've got deep and shallow, so three times um, six, no, three times two, okay, is six. So you can have a left, center, or right, or a deep or shallow in each position. So three times two is six. How many spaces are there? There are five, so six to the fifth power. That's how many theoretical combinations can be done here. Plus there was that extra deep or extra shallow, whatever it was on that page. Extra shallow, so they can do a right and an extra shallow. So it's really three, let's see here now. You could do three times two times two. That would work. Three times two times two is 12. Yeah, so there you go. Um, you can get a lot of theoretical combinations out of this side bit milling, and that's literally how they control 
the keyway. So the side bit milling can be semi-restricted all the way up to NASA Lockheed Martin hyper-restricted. And the only thing that makes it difference, different, my man, is that side bit milling. That facility code um, is what tells the factory what that side bit milling is. is. It'll tell them the keyway as well. If you look on the Schlage page to the cylinders and key blanks quick reference guide, you've got the uh, Primus keyways, C, C, E, 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 F, F, and G, F, G. And then you've got those side bit milling options. So you can see that you've got six different keyways. You have six different cuts on the key, six chambers, and each chamber is going to permit, in a master keyed environment, four possible options. So four to the sixth power options on just this, if it's master keyed. And then you're going to take all those potential side bit millings that are, occur here as well. So you're dealing with huge numbers of theoretical keys. So many so that they can actually, you know, assign a specific side bit milling to a specific client. So it's possible that someone like NASA or, you know, Los Alamos National Lab, um, I happen to be reading Oppenheimer right now or, or audio booking, they can get their own side bit milling. And that's what makes it exclusive to them. That's where the side bit milling number comes from. And without that, it's pure guesswork. And what happens with this is you can take the order with the facility code, but then the paperwork needs to fi be filed with the factory. And they are absolutely checking to make sure that the documentation that is submitted to them matches the documentation on file. This manual would be a, a relatively easy read to understand further how the Primus technology works. The bottom line is there is a sidebar that exists inside of the plug here. When the pins, the finger pins, are aligned based on the cuts of the key, this preparation in the finger pin, we're going to call it a gate, will receive the sidebar. We'll call that the fence. When that's all aligned, the fence will fit in the gates, will be permitted to be depressed into the plug when the key is inserted and you go to rotate the plug you'll see that little notch there that's where the sidebar is going to fit into and unless the sidebar can fit into unless the fence can fit into the gates on the finger pins presuming the side bit milling is correct the key will not turn we sold them some e keyway they cut one they put it in it didn't work you know why sure you do i just explained it because the, because the fence wouldn't fit in the gates. That's why it wouldn't work. Um, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't recall, I don't know absolutely the quantity of uh, theoretical changes on side bit milling. It's not a huge number. Um, and I don't know what the adjacency is, if there is one. They may not permit, uh, a, uh, you know, a certain hand next to a certain depth uh, but nonetheless, um, it's, it's a large number. It's a large enough number where they don't run out of it. Any other questions, let me know.